what's up guys today I am here with the second video game journal and in this one I'm not gonna be so negative cuz I'm gonna be reviewing NXT TakeOver while I'm playing Road to WrestleMania 8 now I played this game a little bit and let me warn you I'm not that good so yeah prepare to watch me suck but this this is a game people wanted me to play on Twitter which by the way I'll put in the description below but this is a game people wanted me to play, so I'll pl so I'll play it. And also, these opinions of mine are opinions which everybody on the internet gets offended lately. So, gets offended so easily lately, so yeah, don't kill me over an opinion. All right, all right, let's get started. Now the first match, Oscar versus Emma. Oh man, that, that match is that match was. I love, I loved it. I'm not good at describing matches, so. But anyway, I I loved how that I loved how that match was, and that how it kept and how it kept my attention, unlike. Half the match, not half, but most of the matches on Raw, SmackDown, and pay-per-views. But I love, I loved how Emma, and how Emma and Dana are trying to get, uh, trying to get rid of Oscar. You know, and they just fail it. They just fail every time. Well, not every time, but major events and all that. But I hope that I was hoping that that rivalry would would go on a little would go on a little bit longer. But I'll explain. But I'll get to that later. But the first, but the first match. Oh look, they have all the four pay per view events here, plus King of the Ring. Remember when the when they were important. Who goes SummerSlam? But yeah, that that match really set really set the pace for the show and you could tell and you could tell that the crowd was really into really into it, but then again they're really in NXT shows. I'll face I'll face Hogan. Just to kick his ass. But they're but they're real But You can tell they're like really in a, in really into the NXT shows and this is an not popular opinion, but I actually like I actually like the crowd. Well some of the crowd, not all of it, because even I th even I think they can get quite annoying. Jericho, what are you doing? Get back in the ring! But you could tell people were really into that match, and I li and I like it. And towards the and like towards the end when Emma was it looked like she was gonna get the when it looks like it was gonna be a DQ, I was like, please, please, not a DQ. Don't end, don't start takeover like, don't start takeover like that, please. But when Oscar, but when Oscar finished her off with that kick, uh, oh man, get back in the ring, Jericho. Yeah, this could be a, this could be a count out thanks to Hogan. But anyway, when Oscar was good, but when, but when Oscar finished her off with that kick. Oh man! Oh man! That was that was that was awesome, and I can tell it set the pace for the rest of the show. Now on to the on to the tag team title match. First off, Enzo, Big Cass, favorite, absolute favorite team in NXT. I would say on the main roster, but. They're not even on the main roster yet, so I have no idea what I'm saying. But I would say in all of WWE, but 
between them and New Day? I can't... I can't decide! I can't decide between them and New Day, you know? But if them... But if them and New Day had a... Had a match... I wouldn't know who to cheer for. Oh, I'll get back in the ring, Jericho! But I wouldn't know who to cheer for between them and New Day. That's how much. That's how much I like both te teams. But anyway, enough about enough about that. For enough about that, I'll talk about in zone cast versus New Day another another day. I just I just but I just love how in zone big cast were over with the crowd. And I mean over. I'm I'm scared of them going to the main roster because that would end in a couple. Because I can, I know that would end in a couple of weeks of them being on the main roster. So yeah, the I'm just. Scared for the I'm just scared for its own cast to be on the main roster because of how freaking over they are. But any, but anyway, their match versus Dawson and Wilder. Ha, it was it was an no, it was another awesome match. In which Dumpin Dumpin Jericho get up! Okay, good. Anyway, I just love how I just love how that match was and how they were trying to re-injure Enzo and Cass, but to no, but no success to them. And I must say, Carmella looks fine as hell. Kick out, kick out, kick out. Ah, uh, told you guys I told you guys I sucked at this game, but anyway, but. Anyway, I just loved how D Dash and Wilder wanted to get him out. Wanted to take Enzo and Ca Big Cast out of act out of action out of action for forever, but that's it. But that didn't really happen. And I, and I must say, I did want in, I did want Enzo and Cass to win so bad because they deserve a run at the tag team titles. I mean, th I know I'm not alone. They deserve a run at the titles. But at the same time, though, Dasha Wilder just became tag team champions, and they deserve they deserve a good they deserve a good reign. And I know NXT doesn't give out short reigns except for that one t time when Sammy was champion and Kevin beat him for the title, but that was but that was necessary because Kevin was supposed to be a monster and he was in NXT. But enough, but I'll say that story for another day. But I was just so disappointed that Enzo and Cass didn't become tag team champions, but at the same time, though, Dash and Wilder do deserve do deserve them. But it'll but it'll be big once it'll be big once that once Enzo and Cass become tag team champions. It will be huge, and I hope that and I hope that happens before they're on the main roster. I honestly hope. I honestly hope it happens before they're on the main they're on the main roster. So yeah. So yeah. That match, I like this I like I I liked as well. Now on to the next one. Apollo Cruz versus Baron Corbin and unpopular opinion. I like Baron. He, I think he improves with every big takeover match that he has. You know, 
I mean, don't get me wrong, he still needs work, but I've been a fan of him from the start. And I actually like how he's play how he's playing the heel character right now. Being a being a legit badass. <sighs> I told you guys I suck at this game. How? But anyway. I just like how he's I just like how he's a badass. You know? Undertaker quit running the ropes. And I just love how the crowd. I just love, but even though I'm a fan of Baron, you gotta admit, I just loved how the crowd was telling, was calling him shit. Um, that was awesome. And I just loved how Apollo was in the match. How Apollo was in a match. Athle athletic, strong. Like that, but there was one mis there was one mistake I didn't get, but I saw on Twitter that Baron told that Baron told Apollo he should stay in he should have stayed in Ring of Honor, but I don't think he was in Ring of Honor for that for that long, or he just made rare parent that he just made rare appearances, but. Yeah, that was a big bot John Baron's part, but you gotta admit, at least he at least he's trying. Even though that was a although that was a botch. But uh but get in the ring, taker. But gotta admit, Baron, unlike some, is trying and at least they didn't put the title on him. At least they didn't put the title on him yet. But then again, I don't think he's. Then again, I do love Baron, but I don't think he's. I don't think he's ready for the title until. Give him the. Give him like a little more time before he is. But I was. But I was really expecting Apollo to win the. Apollo the one to match, honestly. I was surprised with I was surprised when he didn't though, but happy for Baron at the same time. You know? Just happy for ba happy for Baron that he happy for Baron that he won. Not because I like him, but because he's actually pretty good. Crap. Because he's because he's actually pretty good. You know? Well, he's not good like Finn Balor or Sami Zayn, but he's get but he's getting there. He's getting there. Now, next match, Bailey versus Nia Jax. I will say this, and this is mostly a popular opinion, but Somewhat an unpopular opinion. Thank God Eva Marie was not there. Thank God. I don't even know why. Uh, I have no idea what I'm saying, but Eva should not be near the women's title. It's like she doesn't even want to be there. But that's not a story for a different. But that's a different story for a different day. But I will mention Eva a bit. But Bailey versus Nia Jax actually surprised me. Actually, they actually surprised. They actually surprised me. But they actually, but they actually, but that match actually surprised me, especially with Nia getting a. Women's Championship match so soon, but I think she, I honestly think she actually held her own in the ring. She played the dominant heel real, really well, and the crowd was so invested. 
in it. Even though I didn't like it when they chanted Pepe! I wanna know, will you be my girl? I really didn't like it when they chanted that. But besides that, you could tell that you could tell they were so invested in this crowd. And Naya actually held her Naya actually held her own and was actually the and actually played the heal monster pretty well despite what people say. Well, at least that's what I think. She actually dominated Bailey in the match. I'll do a CPU versus CPU. Undertake and Jericho and Christian versus Bubba and Devon. I actually do CPU versus CPU this time. Ooh, I can make more matches. I did not know that. But yeah, Naya, she actually played she played the heel role pretty pretty well from from what I saw. I mean, that's what I that's what I think anyway. But that's what I think. That's what I think anyway. Nia, Nia actually played the heel role pretty well, and Bailey, she, I just loved how she was the underdog in all this. She, I mean, she may be the female Cena from what I, from what people have been saying that she might be, but I just, but even if she is, I'll still be a, I'll still be a fan because she, you can tell she brings. The, she brings the emo that emotion to the ring, you know? She brings it every night, no matter who her opponent is. Even if it is a stupid redhead. But, yeah. I just... That match surprised me. And Naya actually, hel actually held her own in the... Actually held her own in the match. And I'm looking forward to seeing more from... Seen more from Nia Jax. You know? Okay, card looks pretty. Third match. Okay, I'll change up the third match. Single. But yeah. I'll make it a rock versus Triple H match. But yeah. I'm just looking forward to seeing more Ni Nia Jax. I'm just. I'm just looking forward to seeing more Nia Jax because after that match, she. Pr it proves that she could bring it. And if she's gonna be a heel, then... I hate to say it, but having Eva Marie in her corner would be good if she was gonna be a heel. Because that way, Eva can transfer some of that heat onto her, even if it is X-Pac heat. But I think last... But I think last night, as of this recording... Not... I don't think Naya needs Eva in her corner. That she can gather heat on her own. So when I go back to full sail, I pray Eva's not with her. I actually, I actually pray that Eva's not near a ring ever again. But you know that's never gonna happen because.
because WWE insists on pushing her. But it's not the but yeah, not the best women's championship match at NXT Takeover, but still up there. But it's still but still up there. Now NXT Championship. Finn Balor versus Samoa Joe. That match was everything and more. I mean I mean it too. I mean it too. When Finn came out as as the demon and he was channeling Jack the Ripper a little bit. Oh man, that entrance was awesome. I just I just love that inch. I just love that entrance in almost every one that Finn does as the as the demon. So yeah, and the and that match match of the match of the year. You could tell they wanted to kill each other. You know, but you could tell they you could tell they wanted the NXT Championship bad. And they would kill each other just to get in. And they pretty and they pretty much they pretty much did. I like I I like both guys in the match. I didn't care I didn't care who won. But honestly, I was I, part of me was expecting Joe to win because I heard they want Finn on the main roster, but. Finn doesn't want to go to the main roster yet, and I don't blame him one bit. But, yeah, but, sorry. Like I said, first time reviewing, not very, not very good. But, I just wonder why they don't have matches like that on... I just wonder why they don't have matches like that on the main roster. Well, they they do once in a while, but not all the time. But I just wish Vince would let everybody everybody on the main roster just rest, wrestle with emotion, you know, and not have his, not have Triple H outdo him every time. Which, by the way, he did out. By the way, Triple H did outdo him again. The NXT TakeOver London so much better than TLC just saying my opinion don't kill me for it but but the way Finn and Joe were with Joe wanting to not only take the NXT title but to injure Finn, to injure Finn be the first guy to beat the demon you know because Finn Finn Balor is a demon. He's actually undefeated when he's in demon form. Wait, but when he's regular Finn, he can. But when he's regular Finn, he's actually, he actually lost a couple matches. But nothing wrong with that. But as the demon, he's never he's never been defeated. Which I'm wondering who can actually beat the demon. And I just hope WWE capitalizes capitalizes on it. I mean, not WWE, but NXT. Even though WWE, even though NXT is part of WWE, but I'm just wondering after this match, who could beat the de who could beat the demon? You know, because every time Finn's in demon mode, every time he turns on that demon, it's like. He's, unsto he's unstoppable no matter what. Not even Kevin Owens could beat the demon. And Kevin Owens is a badass. He's he's really a bad he's really a badass. But I'm just but I'm just wondering who could actually beat the who could actually beat the beat the demon after this and I wonder if WWE will make a big deal out of it about who can but who could beat the, but who could beat the demon and all that and 
and when it does happen, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be huge. It's gotta be huge, and, and, it's gotta be the right opponent, too. Who that opponent will be, I don't know, but it's gotta be the right, it's, it's gotta be the right opponent of who can beat Finn Balor. Who could beat Finn Balor as Demon? Cause that's what, cause that's what I'm curious about now. I think the Dudley Boys won this one, but yeah, NXT Takeover, spectacular show, amazing show once again. NXT really knows how to top themselves out. Top, how to top themselves. I was kind of, honestly, I was kind of worried about how it, how it would turn out because of some of the new guys on the card who's never been on the NXT card before, like Dash and Wilder. I think they were, I think they were at NXT TakeOver Respect. I forget. And Nia Jax, but. They actually surprised. They, they actually surprised me. They really did. I love this. Sh I love the show. Ten out of ten. Only complaint is, I wish Sami Zayn returned on the show. Probably turned heel, but he's too over to be heel. But it would have been amazing if he if he came out after Finn Balor's match, congratulated him, then attacked him. But I think that was a little bit expected out of. I think that was a little bit expected, but at the same time, really not ex really not expected. So, but yeah, NXT Takeover London, ten out of ten. Love the show, and that's my that's my review. Sorry if I was if I'm not good at reviewing skills or at this game, but. I tried and it was some this was something I've actually wanted to try, so hopefully I succeeded. So So yeah. I just hope you guys like it liked it and all that and hopefully I'll be able to do hopefully I'll be able to do more reviews in the future. But like I said, my video game journal series isn't just about review. Isn't just about review. WWE, ROH, TNA reviews. It's about. But anyway, that I better go. I better end this before I ramble too much. So leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. It'll be in my. It'll be in my description, and I'll see you all for the next video game journal. Later.